welcome back. Here we are ready for the Montpellier game. 36 wins out of 36. An incredible season. Surely we can't, we can't fail on our quest to get this 100% season now. We are two games from the impossible. A um, couple of little issues to talk about before this game. Um, something I did forget to mention um, was how the Champions League has gone since we have been out of it. Uh, so, of course, this was the uh, first knockout stage where uh, where we, of course, lost to Liverpool 3-2 on aggregate after being 3-2, uh, 2-0 up, sorry, in the first leg. If we have a look at the uh, the tree of how the the tournament went, you can see Liverpool and Juventus are in the final. Liverpool were 2-1 down against Manchester United after their first leg of the quarter-final and again came back to win it in the second leg. Um, and then they just blew into away in their semi-final. Real Madrid with Kylian Mbappe knocked out Atletico Madrid in the quarter-final before going down to Juventus in the semis. And Juventus also beat Manchester City. So Juventus have been absolutely phenomenal. They have beaten some big, big teams uh, from the uh, the quarter-final stage onwards to reach the final. But Liverpool are looking every bit the dominant force. So I guess I can sort of not be too hard on, my, on myself. Um, last season's winners are in the final again and they've been looking really, really dominant. So I, I guess I can kind of feel a little bit better about that so that's how the uh, the Champions League is going if we have a quick look at Real Madrid and we just see how Kylian Mbappe has gone this season let's have a look at their tactics and see uh, where well, they were earlier in the season they were actually playing a 4-4-2 with Kylian Mbappe up front as a striker where is he right now so he's injured and he has had a really good first season for Real Madrid. Look, so 29 goals in 50 appearances. He uh, he has been outstanding, as you would expect. 14 in 30 in the league. If we now uh, if we now look at today's game, we've just got a couple of little issues. We've made a few changes for the game. Um, Nicolas Soule comes in at right back. Hakimi has had an injury. He is back, but he's not fully fit. I don't want to risk him against Montpellier. I want him to be fully fit and ready to go against Marseille. So he is now, uh, you can see he's got 18 assists for the season, 15 in the league. I guess with him missing this game, he's not really in with a chance of uh, breaking Di Maria's record now. I'm also leaving Verratti and Barella out of this game. They are both a booking away from a suspension. Again, I don't want them to miss the Marseille game, so I'm gonna kind of take the chance on them that they're gonna be uh, that we're gonna be okay against Montpellier. And also, Hernandez is suspended for today, so Diallo comes in at left back. So we've changed our two fullbacks. Paredes and Wijnaldum play central midfield. The rest of the team remains the same. Do I perhaps want to bring Jimmy in for Sergio Ramos in case Sergio Ramos picks up another booking? I think I'm going to do that. We'll bring Jimmy in for our last home game of the season. He's on the bench. And uh, yeah, so we are now two wins away. This is a game we should be expecting to win. Claude Puel is the Montpellier manager. He has been bought in this season with them really struggling. He has not managed to lift their form. They now need to win their last two games to stand any hope of uh, of staying in league on. So I think it's a pretty lost cause for them. But uh, against a team which is battling the possibility of relegation, you never know. So again, we can't take anything for granted. I say that leaving these players out but we can't take anything for granted. We've got to do the job and we've got to send ourselves into that Marseille game with the 100% domestic season still on. So let's see what happens here. 
So they do have uh, Steffi Madivi, if I've just said that right, up front. The young English player who has been uh, very successful the last couple of seasons. I would imagine with Montpellier going down, he's going to have a lot of offers. Mavididi. Uh, so there you go. That's how uh, that's how much he caught my eye. We'll get Neymar and Messi, as always, marking up on their fullbacks. And you can see they are going with an attacking number 10 and a striker. So they are really going full out for it. And they're really going to try and get at us. I can only think that that helps us long term. Um, what I am going to do is just change in transition from the goalkeeper to go directly into the flanks just to go over those players. But I'm not going to change anything else. We should be more than strong enough to deal with them. So let's try and... So the initial team talk hasn't really motivated anybody. The follow-up with the different positions is certainly working though. Let's get into this and let's try and send ourselves into the last game with the possibility of a historic 100% domestic league and cup season it would be an astonishing achievement you can see they are four games without a win lost three of their last four we have to be red hot favorites here playing at home to achieve this the nerves now really setting in as as we as we count down to this i think from from kind of from kind of just past the halfway point, it started to look like, well, maybe this could be a possibility. I think when we got through January, when we got through January and we were still 100%, it kind of felt like, okay, this is a possibility. This is doable. As we get a corner, Neymar off the bar. Neymar needs just two more assists this season to set a new record. So not really creating much right now as we get another highlight here Donnarumma will start a new attack is he no he's not going into the the flanks as he was instructed but we get out nicely Nicolas Sule just sending it down the line for Messi can he get across in he can and Balotti off the post would Haaland have finished that would Haaland have finished that one off Right, let's make a couple of little changes here because we are not really creating enough. So we are going to play out wide and we are going to be more expressive. And let's see if that can just start to open this game up a little bit. Oh, you have to think Haaland would have finished that as they now get a highlight. Cleared away, but only as far as Koza. And they are bringing it back in. They get across, and it's still not dealt with, and still not as Sambia will get across in, and they are in front. I don't believe it. I don't think this is going to be ruled out. I'm going to change onto a positive attacking mind, a positive mindset straight away. I think this is going to count. It has counted. Oh my goodness! Surely we cannot balls this up two games from the end. A really, really soft goal. Really, really poor. And from their first chance of the game, do I just go attacking straight away now? This is awful. Let's go attacking. And let's try and be even more wide now. I'm not going to go out on the, the flanks. Let's stop playing out from defence as well. This is a terrible, terrible performance at this late stage in the season. And they nearly get in there again there as Sule cuts it out. Diallo. Neymar finding Dybala. Can he find Belotti? Do we change Belotti out of there at half time? Is he giving us enough in that centre forward role as Dybala puts it in? And Belotti head one's over, heads one over the bar. He's missed a couple of very good opportunities so far today. And this is, I don't even know if uh, 
how many times we have been behind at half time this season as Paolo Dybala gets the equaliser right on half time. Exactly what we needed. I think the attacking mentality has really been uh, what we needed. We weren't really productive enough in the final third. Neymar has equaled Angel Di Maria's assist record. He now just needs one more to break that record. But that is the least of our concerns right now. We have to go on and now win this game. Let's throw a water bottle. Oh my goodness. And we demotivated all the players. Oh my goodness. Now, is this all conspiring against us? We've managed to save the situation a little bit here. Nicolas Soule is now the only demotivated player as we go into the second half. We've only had two shots on target. What can Messi come up with? Brilliant from Lionel Messi. 24 for the season. He's pulled a rabbit out of a hat for us at just the right time. Again, he doesn't get many from open play anymore. But on set pieces, he is still incredible. Let's demand more from the team. And let's try and really take control of this now in the second half. Let's see if we can really dominate. I think I'm thinking of changing Bellotti out as he now goes through. Can he finish? Beautiful from Bellotti, just as I criticise him. An exceptional finish. Oh, Bellotti, I'm sorry. I should have never doubted you. Should have never doubted you. He's proven himself an able replacement in the second half of the season he's done the job when he has been bought in may have missed some chance in the first half but that is a confident finish from Bellotti and I am going to praise the players even as we watch this highlight play out if they score a goal they'll just think I was being uh, facetious they get it across it's in and it's still not away again. A chance here. And we know how, how dangerous they can be if they get a little bit of possession in our half as they did in the first half. They scored arguably the best goal of the game. And they are still... How many passes have they had in this move? This is absolutely gorgeous move. And Donnarumma has to bail us out. So the players will, should certainly think I'm being ironic after praising them there. And Donnarumma has to make another save. This has not been how things were planned. We were not expecting a game like this against Montpellier today. Let's get Bellotti out. And we are going to bring Thomas Lamar in. And Neymar is going to play as an advance forward. Do I want to risk him on that book in there? So let's get Lamar as an out and out winger on there. And I think I'm going to change Paolo Dybala as well. Now, do I change him for a midfielder and just try and shore this up? I'm going to bring in a Gay and I'm going to put him in at defensive midfield. I want to just try and not take any chances now. Ball winning midfielder. And that will give Paredes just a little bit more freedom to play on support now. Let's see if with this we can just really shut up shop and just make sure of this result now. Take it into the final game against Marseille. Messi possibly needs to be rested as well as they get another cross in. We have not looked... 100% sure of ourselves without the ball in this game. Montpellier have done a really, really good job of hitting us on the break and holding possession when they've had the opportunity. They do, of course, need two, but if they were to get one, I mean, it would really make for a nervy finish on this game. As Cossa now, he's 
had a very good game. And again, a spell of possession for Montpellier. Not what you really expect of a Claude Puel team. Can we deal with this here? Neymar through. Sent in by Messi. And Neymar finishes it. His 14th of the season. Neymar on fantastic form to finish the season. And surely now, even with this fine Montpellier performance that finishes the game nice little counter-attacking move and we will praise them in just a moment that makes sure we can breathe a sigh of relief and I'm going to make another little change here do I take off Messi or Neymar with that booking I think it would be sensible. We don't have another striker on the bench now. I've taken all our striker options out with Belletti leaving the field and Dybala leaving the field. Um, what do we do? Do we give Jimmy an appearance at home or the Croatian guy perhaps? Or do we bring Messi out? I think I'm not going to risk Diallo. I'm going to bring in the Croatian guy as a left back. Just to see this game out. Hopefully Neymar does not pick up another booking. I will actually just take us off getting stuck in. Just to try and take that risk away a little bit. As Jermaine gets another chance for them. We have been pretty open at the back. Let's just take that off of our defensive instructions. We're not going to get stuck in anymore. Just not risk Neymar missing the final game of the season. He's going to be so important for us. And yeah, my, my nerves were jangling on this one, particularly when they took the lead there. In the end, it may not have been the most convincing of performances. We've now had two performances in a row where we haven't looked quite so dominant. But we have come through this one in the end. We have scored four more goals. As they do get a second. I think it's another one that's going to count. I don't think there's any way VAR rules this one out. We have been disappointing here. Yeah, it's been awarded. Let's demand more of the players to finish this game. Credit to Montpellier. They've given it a real go as they tried to fight for survival. They came with that 4-3-3 with a number 10 playing behind the striker. As Sule plays Mavididi on there. They did play with a very positive formation and, and game plan. They just maybe didn't have the quality. Maybe just left themselves a little bit open. But they had more shots on target than us. It wasn't the best of performances and I hope that doesn't bode well for Marseille in the final game of the season so as our players do a lap of honour after their last home game of the season let's tell the players not to be complacent I'm not going to add anything more to it Donnarumma's disappointed with me and Abu Diallo uh, Abdu Diallo is disappointed with me, but I'm going to leave them to stew. Let's just get into this last game against Marseille. Let's complete the 100% season. That's where we stand. 111 points after 37 games. Montpellier relegated. We are going to move forward now to the Marseille game you can see Marseille have confirmed their Champions League place for next season as have Lille Monaco have missed out last season's runners up have bottled it at the end of the season they are going to have to settle for the Europa League and Lyon are also out of European football for next season so some pretty big results there two games from the end we now go forward it's Paris Saint-Germain, 
versus Marseille, first versus second, derby game, the biggest rivals in the league, and they have the chance to spoil our 100% season. With that result, we are now 55 league on games undefeated. We have not lost since Leon away last January. 55 games. How many wins in a row we have done, I am not sure. I think it is something like 46 maybe. Um, maybe we'll see in a minute. But um, we are just on an incredible run. And to lose it now would be awful. Let's praise Messi's performance there. Another brilliant creative performance. He's still got it, even at 35. With losing his physical abilities, he still has it. Right, we are going to move on to the Marseille game. We will see you after another week's training. We will see if Neymar can break Di Maria's record and uh, and get more than 17 assists in a season. See there, Messi has got 15 assists this season. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get forward into this last game and let's see if we can complete this legendary, legendary season. 